great Saturday morning. I hope you're having a beautiful start to yet another beautiful weekend. And this is love weekend. How's your heart? Hmm? I think it's what, Psalm 73, 26. We would have gone over this today. We know that maybe you don't have anything in your heart right now. Maybe it's empty. Well, feel it, feel it with praise, fill it with the word of God, fill it with the goodness of the Lord. It's because of his loving kindness that we're able to see. And in Psalm 73, 26, yeah, your flesh, your body might be deteriorating, deteriorating, but your inward being is being renewed daily. And then maybe you're feeling like, oh, heartbroken, your heart fails, but God is the strength of your heart and your portion and your inheritance forever and ever and ever. You might be realizing that, yeah, you know, time is moving and I'm getting old. Yeah, that's true. And in today's reading, we're reminded we're just dust. If we read Psalms 103, uh, 14, for he knoweth, the Lord knoweth our frame, our body. He remembers that we're just like this. We're here and we're gone. So what are we to do? Look to the Lord and focus on that which is eternal. What's going to last after all of this, after the impeachment trials and after this administration and after, look, life keeps on going. The world keeps on moving, but the word of God is forever and the things of God are forever. Yeah. Yeah. And this brings us to Numbers, the 15th chapter, where it talks about when someone had offended the Lord, either in ignorance or in arrogance. Hmm? There's a difference in verse, I believe it's 20, 24, where it says, Actually, yeah. Then it shall be if all be committed by ignorance without the knowledge of the congregation that all the congregation shall offer one bullock and a burnt offering for a sweet savor unto the Lord. And then in verse 25, and the priest shall make an atonement, a payment for all the congregation of the children of Israel and it shall be forgiven them for it is ignorance. So can we just think about, just review our lives when, when we have done crazy stuff out of ignorance. Oh my goodness. I could just spend the rest of the day thinking about all the foolishness and I'm sure you could do it too. Yeah, all of us have fallen short of, of the glory of God. Yes, but thank the Lord that we are able to experience his mercy, which is renewed absolutely every day. Great is his faithfulness. And I believe it's Yes, Psalms 103, 11, 4. As high as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear the Lord, that respect, that reverence him. So yes, there is a difference between when we offend, when we do sins of omission, where we just omitted something, we had no knowledge, we were ignorant, and then sins of commission, where we're like, yeah, you know what, I know, and I'm being presumptuous, and I'm committing this, I'm ignoring the will of the Lord. I'm just being arrogant. And it says in verse 30 of Numbers 15, but the soul that doeth aught presumptuously, whether he be born in the land or a stranger, the same reproaches the Lord, and that soul shall be cut off from among the people. Oh my, but for the grace of God, where will we be? But we thank the Lord that he has given us another chance. And this is why in this weekend of love when everybody's gonna be getting hearts, candy, sweets, woo! We have something old taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is he or she that feareth the Lord, that experiences his love. Amen. Who satisfies our mouth with good things. We might not have the chocolate. We might not have the cupcakes. We might not have, like I said, I'm supposed to be giving some cards to my neighbors. We might not have that physically, 
but he satisfies our mouth and our heart with good things so that our youth is renewed as the eagle so we can do the work of the Lord. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Bless the Lord, O oh my heart and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. He is the giver of every gift. I hope you have a wonderful day. Look into the Lord, not offending the Lord, but knowing that he is merciful and he wants us to bless his name in every way. Enjoy.